Here's another quick video tutorial and this time I'm going to help you out in how you can create your own watermark. May it be a watermark for your JPEGs uh, that you are creating on Adobe Photoshop or a watermark for Adobe Lightroom. Uh, let's create a canvas first. Control N on your keyboard. Let's just make it around uh, probably 3500. 3500 as well. Resolution will be 72. It's just alright. And say... Uh, let's just type in saying, oop, let me just change the color to black, watermark, something like that. Oop, that was the last font I've used, so it looked like that. Let me just change it to just a simple gothic watermark let's make it a little bit uh oh, it doesn't look good yeah maybe something like that just say watermark and let me crop down and right here on the background just turn off or switch off that visibility mask or whatever you call that just uncheck that and you get your background uh, completely eliminated you just have your foreground which is your watermark text right there but again um, sometimes here you get confused because when you save it you still have that white background because you're saving it as a JPEG file you have to save it as a PNG file so that you can preserve the transparency of that background layer so how will you do that you go to file uh, save for web right here or you could also do save as you have an option for PNG right there but if you want to do shortcut you have control shift s hold that all together on your keyboard it's going to give you PNG 24 right here. Commonly, saving for web on Photoshop, you'd get prompted with this uh, window first. It would say JPEG, and of course, you see, you would notice, let me just make it a little bit, oop, say fit on screen. You would still see background layer in there because it's on JPEG, but you just have to find something that says PNG 24, then uh, right here you have transparency you just have to click that and save the image what uh, mark test all right so this time we're going to verify if that watermark is completely saved with a transparent background how to use that on a single photograph in Photoshop just go ahead and find a photo that we can use uh, here are some shots of a bouquet that we actually did for a wedding. Let me just drag one in there. Say open image. And while it's opening, let's go and get a, a watermark. Drag it over. And there you go. Have your watermark. Just make it a little bit smaller. Well, your watermark position is always dependent on where you want it or somehow you have to balance it on the image. You can put it here, but, you know, all the focus are on the flower. So, you don't want to disturb that focus. Just put it way on the left side. But, again, the thing is, it's black, so you won't really see that. Maybe you could twist that a little bit like that. And place it like that here on the right side you have your opacity you can turn it down a little bit so it won't add much distraction on the photograph uh, for some other quick video tutorials do subscribe to our channel thanks so much for watching